First Nations across the province drummed and cheered. And today, more people locally are reacting to yesterday's landmark ruling by the Supreme Court of Canada. In that decision, all eight Supreme Court justices agreed. BC's Silcotine First Nation has a right to their traditional territories. The decision could mean big changes to the way BC does business. It's absolutely going to change. For the last 30 years, Paul Michel has been following this case. He calls the Supreme Court's decision a game changer. Oil, gas, uh, mines, they all have to meaningfully work and negotiate with First Nations. And, and it goes way beyond, I, wanna, I, can, I only have to consult with First Nations. They don't. They have to partner, they have to negotiate, they have to listen to Aboriginal rights and title. In other parts of Canada, Aboriginals signed treaties with the British, or later the Canadian government. But in BC, that rarely happened. That's why the Chilcotin were able to take their case to the highest court. The judges were unanimous. The Chilcotin have rights to 1,700 square kilometers of their traditional territory in BC's central interior. It's about time uh, Canada starts to respect that. And uh, First Nations deserves the respect because the Aboriginal people have a philosophy where they're stewards of the land. They protect the land. Fair enough. But the repercussions are going to be kind of challenging. <laughs> I don't like to think about that. If you use those natives, but we don't care. We still love you, Canada. And we always will. And that's just the way we are. But we all lost land. We're rights to our lands. And I say darn good. The court's decision means some major projects might be in question. One of them, the Northern Gateway Pipeline. It runs through the traditional territory of several First Nations. Development is still possible, but they're, but they're going to have to really be a lot more respectful, a lot more understanding, and uh, they have to acknowledge the Aboriginal rights and title to their traditional lands. So moving forward, it looks like a different way of doing business in BC. The Chilcotin ruling means First Nations across Canada are now taking stock. We may see more land claims go to court now that a precedent has been set. But of course, we're kind of entrenched. <laughs> I'm not used to giving things back. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.